everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and that's Christian and we're here to party under the full moon. You guys know full moon. He's like, oh, he's full moon. He's freaking awesome and he has, he's on the road to nowhere. No, he's on the road to 200 subs and it's probably going to be even more. We love full moon. He's a cool dude. He's just a cool dude. We love him and we want to celebrate with him. He's throwing a contest and we want to answer some questions and win some prizes, Johnny. Maybe it's because I'm incredibly tired, but right now you feel like the mission, the, the micro machines guy to me. You're talking so fast. I I don't I can't comprehend. It's probably the thing of coke I did before that we went on. That would explain some stuff. I'm feeling good, people. I'm yeah, feeling yee ignore, ignore the nosebleeds. <laughs> okay, so full moon, he good dude. He is, he's a really good dude. He's he, a good he real good dude. He real good dude. He if, if for those of you who don't know, because we never actually mentioned it on this channel, uh we did an interview him over on his channel if you want to He watch thinks that. we're interesting. Yeah, we're, if you want to hear us t uh, talk sh uh, shoot shit for a while, we did an interview on his channel for a, uh, for a while, like about a month ago. So if you want to check that out. Okay. And just also subscribe to him because he's a good dude. Yeah, he's a real good dude. I like his content. He does a little differently than it. Well, everybody does a little differently. That's not mm -hmm. saying anything different, really. I'm, I'm just not profound today. Damn it, I'm not profound. But I, I do have questions. He had some good questions, and we might have some good answers. So the first question in the road to 200 subs is, what creature feature is your favorite, and why? Ooh, uh, okay. I know I, I know I said when we did the interview, I said the green slime, which I do still love, but mostly that's just for its amazing theme song. Uh, cute theme song. Hell yeah. Uh, but for actual my full on favorite creature feature, and really this is partially because I have massive nostalgia for this film, which I'll talk about in a second, being the first Tremors movie. Uh, it's a toss up between Tremors 1 and 2. I have a lot of nostalgia yeah. for both of these films. I watch these a lot with a relative. Sci fi played them a lot in the summer. So I, these movies are very steeped in my childhood and my nostalgia. So maybe that's why I have such a fondness for the series. But I do still stand by. Tremors 1 is one of the best fil uh, horror films to come out in the 90s. It is easy the best monster movie to come out in the 90s. The whole cast gives a great performance. The effects still hold up really damn well today. The story's fun and interesting and it's just different from any other uh, creature feature or just straight up horror movie of the time. It's not a, you know, slasher movie set uh, that's set in the pitch black. It's brightly lit most of the uh, most of the film and all that. All the character and all the characters are super memorable, even like the lesser char uh, characters. Like Reba? Like, well, like Reba, like, uh, got, uh, like the shop owner played by, oh, uh, got, uh, Shen from, uh, Big Trouble Little China, you know, all, all of them, you know, uh, everyone's memorable in the movie, besides, like, a couple characters who get killed off in, like, one, after one scene, but, you and know. And Reba. And Reba's in it. <laughs> so, I will see your tremors and raise you a little porcupine alien known as a critter. God, I love critters. I love all the critters or incarnations. They're Even attack. Yes, even attack, because they're so cute. They just want to take over our world and kill us all. But they're so cute. They're just cute little fur balls. I freaking love critters. I do. I'm wild for critters. I, like, if I knew they were coming to the world, I would try to get one for a pet and put in a bow tie on it and call him Mr. Porky. And just, he's just a real critter. He's a little critter. I would make him, the, I would replace him with the bulldog. That is how much I love critters. I would make them do like a little Garfield and Odie where they had to share the mascot for the channel. They're just cute. They're evil, but cute. I don't know what you're on, but God, I could go for some right now. <laughs> They're evil, but cute. Hey, look at how cute. I have my very own little critter, but it's not a real critter. I want a real critter that's going to try and kill me or go into a giant porcupine ball. They're just so cute. They're so cute. Mwah. I love my critters. So it would be critters. And why? Because they're evil and cute. Kind of like me. I'm not cute, but I'm evil. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe Dante approved. It, it, it's, it, it's his favorite of the gremlins sort of knockoffs, even though, again, as we said, as we learned on the interview, they came out around the same time. So maybe that's why they get the pass. But yeah. Very cute. They're very what cute. What about munchies? 
Fuck munchies, it's critters where it's at, man. What's our favorite trauma movie or trauma veal movie, depending on where you're at? Depending on the incarnation of the company. Do uh, you want to speak fancy? Fuck, that's hard. Well, well, my heart will always belong mostly to Full Moon. Uh, trauma has some uh, some classics in in their book uh, they do. from uh, from stuff that they just distributed, like Cannibal the fucking musical. I love Cannibal the musical. It's probably my favorite thing Trey Parker and Matt Stone have ever worked on, weirdly. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the in-house uh, trauma films, and that's hard because. Poultry Geist, uh, Citizen Toxic, Sergeant Kabuki Man, Surf Nazis Must Die, although that was a published one. Uh, the Nukem, the original cl uh, class of Nukem High and the re two Return to Nukem High movies I think are all great. But for my full-on favorite trauma film, I gotta give it up to Terra Firmer. Terra Firmer is just basically the story of Lloyd Kaufman trying to make a trauma film. It's, it's, and there's a, uh, and there's a killer going around and inept, or is it the entire, or is it the company's ineptitude that's killing them off? You'll have to watch something to find out. It's really goddamn fun. I love this movie. It embodies everything that I love and admire about trauma as a yeah. company. It just, it's so, it's so fun and wacky and zany and doesn't give a shit, but it's, but it, while still actually being a competently made movie. You can argue about where you say it falls in quality wise, but it's still a really fun, enjoyable movie regardless of its shortcomings with its budget and quality. But that's kind of the charm of trauma, so. God bless Lloyd Kaufman. Good God old Uncle him. Lloyd. Um, for me, it would either be Cannibal the Musical or Troma and Juliet. Tromeo and Juliet's great. Yeah, I, I like Troma, because I'm like a cultured person, because of course I am, because I have a critter. Cultured. So you know I'm cultured. I have a fucking critters, and so, of course, of course, I'm gonna go to like the Shakespearean tragedy that is Tromeo and Juliet because, you know, I'm cultured. I okay. have a critter. Okay, weird hot take. I would <laughs> honestly say Tromeo and Juliet's one of the best adaptations of the story. Uh, like, straight up, I would honestly say it's one of the better ones. It's interesting. It's an interesting adaptation. It's weirdly more faithful than the Boss Lerman movie. <laughs> True. So, yeah, no, I, I like Tromeo and Julia. You got fucking Lemmy as your narrator. How can you not love that? Yeah, you do, and as a Motorhead, I, I live with a Motorhead fan, so you gotta appreciate that. Also, I think it's the movie that originated the car crash sequence that they use all the time. I think it, that might I have been. I think it is. If not, it was, was, was the first time they reused it, but it might have been the movie that originated that. And Cannibal the Musical is fun because Trey Parker and Matt... The so. sky is blue and all the trees are green. Yeah. It's a cute one. I, it's it's just it's it's the cannibal the musical. It's about it's a musical about cannibalism. It's a musical about cannibalism. And fun one thing, if you guys have never heard it, uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, both things are on YouTube. Listen to the commentary track on Cannibal the Musical. It's fucking almost as funny as the whole movie. It's just Trey Parker, Matt Stone, and their friends being drunk and riffing on their own fucking movie. Both things are on YouTube. You can sync them up. Awesome. That'd be cool. So for number three, it's our favorite horror car because chicks dig cars chicks, chicks dig cars chicks dig i'm a cars. chick do I, you dig cars i don't know anything about cars i know but I, <laughs> I, I i can find the radiator that's about it um i mean of course i think the popular one will probably be like christine for this one but that's a sexy car. or you know you would think since i'm a such an evil dead fan you would think i would say the classic um god is it what the fuck is it i don't know is it a mustang it's not no. a mustang uh, you would think I would say fucking Raimi's car that he's used in every single movie. And that is great and all, but I mean, for the movie that actually made me like, okay, I give zero fucks about cars, I want this car now. More than a DeLorean, even. I want a fucking Hemi Cuda from Phantasm. Holy shit, this car is awesome. It is awesome. And didn't he destroy one in two? Yes, the, yes, he did. Yes, the, and they're like endangered. They're, they're an endangered species of car, <laughs> as Joe Bob puts it, and, they, the, and that is gotten worse because Phantasm has blown a couple up, but damn it, they're fucking sexy cars. They are. I... And barely are legal to drive on roads, apparently. <laughs> I think in some states they're not legal. Yeah. So, Watch Joe Bob's Phantasm Marathon if you want a whole spiel, but regardless, they're sexy fucking cars. They're really cool looking. They're sexy. Fuck Knight Rider, fuck Kit, fuck the DeLorean, give me a Hemi Cuda. Yeah, I, I'll agree. The only thing I would agree more is anything with the Mustang. 
I'm a whore. I like Mustangs. But no, I'm going to have to go with you. I'm going to have to go with Phantasm too because that is a sexy car. I didn't sexy. know it was a Hemi Cuda until Joe Bob schooled me because, you know, I'm a chicken. What do I know about cars? Now, don't get your panties in a twist if you're a chick and happen to know a lot about cars. Cool for you. But I happen to be a chick that doesn't know about cars and I'm not going to pretend I did because I don't. I know how to put gas in them and drive them on a good day. On a good day. They just confuddle my little female brain. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, for our number four is our favorite slasher, um, but it can't be from the big four. Ooh, favorite slasher movie that's not part of a franchise. Ooh, that's that's a tough one. Although honestly, it's not that hard for me because most of my favorite slasher movies are one and dones. I'm a big fan of The Prowler. The Burning is excellent. But as I said in a recent tag video, I'm going to go with Popcorn. I I've really grown to love the hell out of Popcorn, especially since we reviewed it for Halloween two years ago. Uh, I loved it before that, but since revisiting it recently for that str for that video, I've grown to adore fucking Popcorn. I think it's one of the most underrated films of the 90s. It's so unique and so different. I'll see your popcorn and raise you a maniac. For me, that would be just very easy. I just fucking love Maniac. Maniac's I think it's, so good. I think it's such an underrated movie, and I don't know how we didn't get more movies. I mean, well, technically we got Maniac Cop, which was su sort of supposed to be a sequel. But kind I need of. an actual... Full-on like, Maniac 2. Oh, uh, and 3 and 4 and maybe 5. See, I, that's the thing. is, I, w I like the idea, but I don't know if it would have worked considering how the movie ends and everything. I don't know if you could have really done that. I think, I think the magic of the movie is since it's a one and done, it's kind of a contained story, at least to me. I suppose so, but I'm a whore. I would have loved to have gotten a, a Maniac 2, 3, 4, 5. Hell, even going on to this day, I you, would Are you saying you wanted Maniac to go to space by the end? No, not to space. We'll stop right before we get into the space. So he goes to the hood. Yeah, goes to the hood. I can, a Maniac in the hood. That actually would be kind of cool. In Vegas. In Vegas. Uh, and the last question on it is... I can't read my writing. Worse, or be, a sequel better than the original. Oh, yeah. Um, for our number five question, it is, what is a uh, sequel is better than the original? And again, it cannot be from your top four, your It cannot be guys. from the big four, the Jasons, the Michaels, the Freddies, or the Leprechauns. The Leatherfaces. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. I mean, this is easy for me. Uh, you all probably know this one's coming because it's my favorite horror movie, Evil Dead 2. As much as I fucking adore the hell out of the original Evil Dead, and there are some things I think the Evil, Evil Dead 1 does better than Part 2. Just fucking Evil Dead 2. It's my favorite horror movie. I, I Everything, it expands on everything the original did and makes it better. The effects are so fucking glorious. The camera work is beautiful. All the practical shit they did with the movie. Bruce Campbell's basically giving a one-man performance for like about 80% of the movie. He's terrific in the film. The, the other characters are enjoyable for what they need to be. It just is a fun fucking movie. It's everything I look for with a horror film. I get that. For me, this was a little hard because I kept going, Christian would throw out a movie and I'd be like, no, I like the original one bit more and we went back and forth and I finally found one but I the thing is is even with this one it's kind of cheating because I love the first slumber party massacre fuck yeah they eat a fucking pizza off a corpse and that's fucking cool as a little kid I was like wow that's fucking cheating eat a pizza off a cold corpse just a hot pizza off a cold corpse that just fucking that just that just resonated with little jen she was like yay eat pizza off corpses yay Woo -woo! i'm all about that lifestyle but what, what 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 even though we get a dead corpse pizza in the first one it's not a musical it's not a musical it's not a goddamn musical with a, a phallic guitar we all know what that guitar is it's a dick it's a wang it's a slong it's just it's it's phallic people it's phallic i mean you're acting like the drill in the first movie wasn't also phallic it was also phallic but this was like in your face crotch shot whoa baby it was like like the regular drill was just your average drill this was like a john holmes drill if you get my meaning ladies you know a very well endowed for those of you who are too young to know who john holmes is to google search that with safety search off 
<laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, but it, it's not a musical, and it doesn't have the toe tappers that 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 the sequel does. So as much as I fucking now, don't get me wrong, people. No fucking hate to the first Slumber Party Massacre. I think it's fucking genius. It was a feminist movie. Both of yes, them. Yes, it was. Yeah, both I, of them are feminist movies. They are, but people won't believe me. But yes, it was a feminist movie, and and I'm all about that, my sisters. Burn your bras, my sisters, and let them flap in the wind and let the breeze and woo! But but uh, but the but two. We're both very tired, <laughs> if you can already tell. So, but two. This is where you learn that how both of us. Act. I just get really fucking quiet and just. Uh, you get animated when you're tired. You you can't go wrong with two though. You just can't. It's a fucking toe tapper. Crystal Bernard from Wings is in it. Oh, yes, what more is. do you want, people? She is in what it. more do you want? And it has a wonderful line of. Dude, I think your girlfriend has been taking too many diet pills. I fucking love that line. It tickles me. It tickles me. You know, you could call me over the phone and instead, and if you wanted to talk dirty to me, just try to get as close to that dude bro accent as you could and tell me that. And it's like, you got a winner there, buddy. Yeehaw! <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Oh, this has been a video. Moon, we're sorry slash maybe welcome. I don't know. So, yeah, so you've gotten some insight into our psychological little I think things. mostly they got a side in the gen psychological. And Christian. Christian you... just basically is slightly less energized Christian. But you know what, guys? This was a lot of fun, Moon. So definitely go subscribe to Moon. Get him to 500. Hell, get him to 800. Don't get him to 1,000 yet till we get to 1,000. And then get him to 1,000. But get him, get him to like... <laughs> Yeah, let's try to, instead of a road to 200, let's get him to 800, let's get him to 900. Anything but 1,000, because then I'll take it personally. But no, seriously, go and go subscribe to Moon, because he is a really good dude. And for some reason, he likes us. I know. It's weird. I don't know why he likes us, but he likes us. And people who like us, I like. I, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm pro people who like us, so go subscribe to Moon. I and he has a very cool logo. I love, I've never told you this, Moon, but I fucking love your Moon logo because it's Moon, and I fucking love Moons. Like, I take pictures of Moons all the time because I love the Moon. I just I do. know what boys <laughs> like. I know. I know what guys want. Why? Uh, because you said you know what, like, <laughs> I don't know, my, my consciousness is... Not strong. Very good. So thank you, Moon. No kidding. Hey, guys, go su subscribe to Moon because Boys he's very, like very cool. Me. And these were fun questions. Go and, and oh, I guess we got to tag some people. We, this isn't a tag. This is a contest. So oh, we, yeah. We don't have to tag people. No, this no. isn't a tag. This is a contest. Well, then so just we. do it. Just do it. Don't wait for us to tag you because it's not a thing. Just do the it. tag is tomorrow. Go do it. Do it. Horror hangout kind of ruined us. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, we did a horror hangout stream on Sean Urshton of the Horror Don't Channel. Blame, we talked all about Wes Craven. Don't blame us <laughs> for not tagging you. You've got to show incentives, people. You got to go and you got to do it. You got to go subscribe to Moon because Moon is cool. Moon is a friend of mine, and I will take umbrage. Mostly, I just have always wanted to use the word umbrage in a video, but umbrage. Umbridge, if you do not subscribe to Moon, Umbridge, Umbridge on your houses, an Umbridge on your houses if you don't subscribe to Moon, an Umbridge. Bye, guys.